streak. Number one. Here's number two, Monty Hall. Owned by the Fred Monteleone Stable of Passaic, New Jersey. Trained by Tom Merriman. Driven by Mike Lachance. Winless in eight this year, but $334,000 in life's earnings. Number two is Monty Hall. One of last week's elimination winners, Fool's Goal, starts post three. Trained by Jim Doherty, for owners Bruce McKelvin and Ron Allen of New Jersey, a winner of four in 15 this year. Winner in his Maple Leaf Trot elimination, Jack Moiseev back for the drive. He won the Nat Ray at the Meadowlands in his life's mark this year of 153 and trotted in 152 last year, over $700,000 in earnings. For number three, Fool's Goal. Aero Postal, number four, surprised as a second place finisher as a long shot at 77 to one last week. Owned by Cheryl and Ed Safey of Rockford, Michigan. Trained by Keith Huff, driven by Phil Houdon again in the Maple Leaf Trot Championship Final. The winner of four in 20 this year and $312,000 is number four, Aero Postal. Corvette Hanover, number five, making his third Maple Leaf Trot appearance. For owners Julian Bertozzi of Burlington, co-owner and trainer Phil Bisback of Seaforth, Ontario, with Randall Waples driving. $261,000 lifetime and a mark of one fifty-four and two right here at Woodbine for Corvette Hanover. Six Plesak was the fastest of last week's elimination winners. Owned by Richard Balog of St. Charles, Illinois, trained by John Butenshane, Doug Brown in search of his first Maple Leaf Trot title. Winner of 5 and 15 this year with a speed mark of 153. 6 is Plesak. 7 Ships Pinnacle. Owned by the Harold G. Ship Stable of Mississauga. Trained by John Copas. Bill Gale. Past winner of the Maple Leaf Trot with program speed. Ships Pinnacle has won 2 of 19 this year. A speed mark of 155 and 4. And almost $200,000 on his card. 7 Ships Pinnacle. Here's number eight, Corncob Conk, second to good times in spite of post 10 two years ago. And a past track record holder here at Woodbine when taking his mark of 153 and two. For co-owner and trainer Mike Wade, co-owners Laurie Wade, Richard Gibbard, David Mackay, Mike Saftik back for the drive of number eight, Corncob Conk, this year's winner of the Horseman's Trot Series. Nine is Dr. Ron Arrail, driven by Mario Bayarjan. For owners, Ron Bash, Arthur, and Kenneth Klein, Jason Caraluzzi. Joe Caraluzzi is the trainer. With a speed mark of 155 and 3, taken at Mohawk last year, $318,000. Number nine is Dr. Ron Arrail. And number 10, Dream Vacation. Second recently in the Breeders' Crown in the memorable win by Varenne. A winner of one in nine this year, trained by Chuck Sylvester for Dina Rachel Frost. K.R. Leasing, Peretti Farms, and David French. John Campbell in search of his third Maple Leaf Trot Championship with the drive on 10. Dream vacation. There's the field for the 50th Maple Leaf Trotting Classic Championship final. It's a record purse of more than $838,000. Second, Plesak is out parked almost all the way to the half, and Doug Brown is urging him on to try to clear. Dream Vacation and Campbell on the outside, but overland all the way from fourth. Aero Postal at the inside fifth. Dr. Runner Rail is overland from sixth, but covered. Well back in seventh from Monty Hall, then Corbett Hanover and Ships Pinnacle, and out of it early was Fool's Goal. They made the half in 55 and four, and Plesak finally makes the lead just over three-eighths of the mile to go. Lyle Creek taking the trip onto the final turn, now second. Corn Cobb Conk not far off from third. Dream Vacation showing the strain of the parked out trip from fourth. Dr. Runner Rail is fifth. Aero Postal is sixth. Corvette Hanover is seventh. Monty Hall is eighth. Ship Pinnacle is ninth. And out of it early was Fool's Goal. And Doug Brown may be wanting to freeze this moment in time. He's got a big, big lead with Plesak into the stretch. Off three quarters in 124. And Plesak through the lane. Legendary Canadian driver Doug Brown is going to score the victory in the 50th Maple Leaf Trotting Classic final. A moment for all time for Doug Brown winning the 2001 50th Maple Leaf Trot. Plesak defeated Dr. Runner Rail in Dream Vacation in 153-2. and two.
Now returning, ladies and gentlemen, your 50th champion of the Maple Leaf Trotting Classic Final, number six, Plesak. The Illinois bred from Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, Illinois, by Ombro Charger from Astute Yankee, owned by Richard Baylog of St. Charles, Illinois, trained by John Butenshane and driven to victory by Doug Brown. That makes it Plesak's sixth win in 16 starts this year, 153 and two in the Maple Leaf Trot Championship final for Plesak. Joined in the uh, winner's circle with Doug Brown, who gets the win with Plesak in the Maple Leaf Trot, and uh, a great moment for you. Your first win in the Maple Leaf Trot. Can you put it into words? Uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's it's very difficult. Uh, it, it's it's a relief get getting the race over with, but it, it's just such a thrill. Uh, Maple Leaf Trot's one of the biggest races in Canada and, and possibly in, in North America, so it, it's just a great thrill. You were asked uh, earlier uh, if uh, you were surprised that uh, Lyle Creek uh, parked you a little bit uh, after the early battle in the uh, turn. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, Corncob Conch can leave real hard, and I was kind of expecting him to leave and maybe follow him around the turn, and when he made front, then, then head on to the front ourselves. But uh, half around the first turn, that sure changed in a hurry. And uh, But Lyle Creek is, is a great horse, and uh, Anthony thought maybe he was the best, and... and you sure can't knock a guy for that, but uh, this Plezak is just, just a tremendous, tremendous horse. And you opened up some uh, ground as they turned for home. You were pretty well uh, clear to the wire, and uh, we're getting a look at the uh, replay now on the screen. If uh, you can describe a little bit about what you were feeling as uh, you were getting closer to the wire. Well, I knew he was going to get tired at the head of the stretch because he did get a rough trip, but uh, he had quite a few lengths on them coming off the turn and uh, he was still fairly strong and they weren't gaining on him at uh, halfway down the stretch I figured as the owner said if I didn't fall off he was going to win so that, that, that's pretty much it through the stretch he was he was just the best. All right well congratulations to you Doug Brown and the connections with Plesak winners of the Maple Leaf Trot let's get a look at the official prices from race number six.